Hi there. In this video, I will explain how the app blocks work for Ari Review and how you can add the review widget on your Shopify 2.0 theme. So in order to do this, you need to go to the online store under the theme section and click on customize. When you do that, you will be inside the editor. Um, so basically the review widget is placed on the product page. So from the drop down, I'll go ahead and select the product page and click on default product. So now you can see that I have a product here, uh, but it doesn't contain any um, review widget. The reason is we have not yet added the widget onto the page. So to do this, we just have to scroll down, um, click on add section, right? And then search for early review. And you see the, the three uh, app blocks that are shown here. So the collection widget is for the collection page. The title stars is for the title. And the title star appears uh, in the product description. And then we have the product widget, which appears at the bottom of the page. So for the default product, we'll select the product widget. And once I do that, you will be able to see that the product widget has been added, right? So it's very simple. If I click here, I can see that the product widget has been added. If I click here, uh, I also get an option to select a specific product that I want the reviews to be shown for. Um, right now, I'm not selecting that because it has already picked up the product which is there on the page automatically. Um, so that's pretty much. Um, basically, this is how you add the widget and then you can use the drag and drop functionality here to basically change the position of the widget. Uh, if you go up, you can see that the review stars have already appeared here. If you want to manually place the review stars somewhere, you can just add a block here and then select the review stars, right? So this is how it works. It's pretty simple to do. Um, if you would like to remove the block, you just have to click and click on remove block and then the block is gone. Uh, let me give you an example of the collections page. So let's go to collections, click on the default collection. And you see that, you know, I already have the collection widget added here, which uh, shows up the stars. I can just go ahead and remove this block and the uh, stars will disappear. I can click on add block select the collections and you'll be able to see the collection stars here. So this is how it works. Once you have done, uh, once you're done with the changes, you can just click on the save button to save the changes. And that's pretty much. So I hope you like this demo. And for any questions, please feel free to reach out to our support team through live chat, email or phone. Thank you.